We are glad you could join us today for the Concepts of Faith broadcast. This program is dedicated to teach you how to put the Word of God to work so that it will make a positive difference in the everyday circumstances of your life. And now, here's Charles Caps. Without having the wisdom of God and the discerning of the spiritual things of God, then you're going to miss some of the things that God gives to you. Now, see, we're here in 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, where Paul said, Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Now, notice he said comparing spiritual things with spiritual. See, salvation is a spiritual thing. Did you know that? The rebirth of the human spirit is exactly what we said. The rebirth of the human spirit. Jesus said to Nicodemus, That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Now what he's telling you is that when you're born in this world, you're born of flesh. Then you learn things by the knowledge that you're taught. But when you're born of the spirit... It is the human spirit that's born again. Your body didn't get born again. It is the spirit that was born again. Now the human spirit was born again. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now it didn't grow any hair on your head just because you got born again, did it? If you were bald-headed, you're still bald-headed. It's the spirit that's reborn. Now the rebirth of the human spirit opens to us spiritual understanding, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Now remember what he said? We have received not the spirit of the world, the spirit which is of God, that we might know the thing that are freely given to us of God. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is of the spirit of God. It is a spiritual thing. It is received into the human spirit. Now one of the problems and why some people have so much problem receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost and the evidence of speaking with other tongues is because they're looking for something in the natural realm. It is received into the human spirit. The human spirit is the reception center of all that God gives. Remember that. If you don't remember anything else that I said, remember this. The human spirit is the reception center of all that God gives. Being born again, salvation is received into the human spirit. It does not come into the physical body. Now, it's housed, the human spirit's housed in the physical body. See, it's like this building here. I'm in this building, but I'm not a two before. (laughs) See, I'm housed in this building. Your spirit, the human spirit, the real you, what the Bible calls the heart, is housed inside this body. But it's spiritual. It's a spiritual thing. You receive the things of God into the human spirit. You must receive God's word concerning salvation and being forgiven of your sins before you can be born again. Faith cometh by hearing. But you receive it into your spirit. Then it manifests itself. You have to believe it first. Now the same thing applies to the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes into the human spirit. The Holy Spirit does not dwell in your physical flesh body It dwells in the human spirit. So to receive the Holy Spirit, you have to receive it in the reception center into the spirit. And you believe you receive and you act that way. Now this is why many people find it hard. They say, well, I'm going to believe that I've received the Holy Ghost when I speak with tongues. Listen, the speaking of tongues is the overflow of the spirit. It is the evidence, the physical evidence... The outward evidence that you've been baptized in the Holy Ghost. But you see, it's not your evidence. It's the evidence to the unbeliever. That's what the Bible says. Your evidence is faith. That if I ask, I receive. If I seek, I find. If I knock, it'll be opened unto me. So Jesus said, if I ask, I'll receive. How much more shall the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? Now you receive it into your spirit. And then it manifests itself outwardly. See, when someone says, well now when I speak in tongues, I'll believe it. That's like saying when this glass runs over, I'll pour water in it. 
No, it's the pouring the water in it that causes it to run over. You have to receive the Holy Spirit before you speak with other tongues. Now see, it is a supernatural experience. It's not a natural experience. You speak in a language you've never learned. It comes by the Spirit of God into your spirit. Everything you've ever talked from the time you learned to talk came from your head and your thought pattern. But when you get your spirit hooked up to your tongue, then God reveals into your spirit the language of the spirit and you begin to pick up things from your spirit. You begin to speak it. Now the same thing applies in the area of healing. How many of you know that divine healing is a spiritual cure? Now see, doctors minister by medical means, by natural means. You take a natural substance into the natural body and it affects some kind of chemical reaction in the body that helps the body to heal itself. No medicine will heal you. It aids the body in healing. Thank God for doctors. We're not against doctors. Hadn't been for doctors, most Christians died because they didn't know how to believe God. But you see, there is divine healing, which is a spiritual cure. Now, one of the problems with people receiving divine healing sometimes is because they're looking for some physical manifestation first before they believe it. It's a spiritual cure. It is received into the human spirit first. Then it manifests itself in the physical body. See, you'll have the physical manifestation, then you believe. God doesn't do any credit business. You've got to believe first. Like the fellow says, I had a sign over his business, and God we trust, all others must pay cash. <laughs> God doesn't do any credit business. You believe his promise, where it says they will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Then you believe that it was instigated that time. You believe the time they laid hands on me that the healing began. It's a spiritual cure. See, sometimes they walk off and start feeling to see if they feel any better. Well, now you see, it's received into the Spirit. Your evidence is faith. Now, certainly there's got to be a time when you decide whether you did or you didn't. I mean, you go weeks and months and you're not any better, then you know it's something wrong. But what I'm talking about is, you know, you lay hands on somebody and pray the prayer of faith. And they say, yeah, didn't get it. Didn't get it. They're going by feelings. They're not going by faith. See, it's a spiritual cure. It comes into the human spirit first, then it manifests itself in the outward body and causes the manifestation. Same as the Holy Spirit coming into the human spirit. And then you have the outward evidence of it. Everything you receive from God, whether it's salvation, divine healing, or baptism of the Holy Spirit, it must first be received into the human spirit. You conceive God's word concerning being born again, that Jesus died for your sins. Paul said it this way, if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You confess something based upon the authority of the word of God. See, this is a spiritual operation. You do not go by what you physically feel. See, sometimes people think because they got a certain feeling, they believe they got healed. What does that have to do with it? Not a thing in the world. May not have a thing in the world to do with it. Because they feel a certain way. Faith is the evidence. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. So you see, what Paul is trying to get over to us, the fact that we compare spiritual things with spiritual. Then he goes on, verse 14, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Now you know what Paul's saying? He said the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. What is the natural man? See, the physical body is the natural man. Now there's two or three ways you could take this. Probably all of them are right. The natural man, you don't receive divine healing into the physical body first. You receive it into your spirit. Then it manifests itself in your physical body. Your natural man cannot comprehend these things. Now, the same way that we receive the Holy Ghost, we receive divine healing by faith. The natural man receives not things of the Spirit of God. 
the natural man, the one that's not born again. You see, that would be a natural man too, you know, a man that's natural and not born again. He's not a supernatural man, he's a natural man. He can't receive the things of the Spirit of God because they're foolishness unto him. But they that are spiritual. Now watch what Paul says. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. See, these things are spiritual. He is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. How do we have the mind of Christ? By the Spirit of God. Spirit of truth, when He has come, He will teach you all things and guide you into all truth. He will take a mind and show it unto you. We have the mind of Christ through our spirit in connection with the Holy Spirit. Can you see that? It's supernatural. Well, raise your hands and praise God for that. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for supernatural tongues. Thank you for the power of the Spirit of God, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. I do appreciate you joining us for the Concepts of Faith broadcast today. Now, we've been talking all this week about mysteries revealed by the Spirit. Our offer all this week is CD offer number 7235. It's called Manifestations of the Spirit. Two CDs for $15 plus $4 postage and handling, a total of $19. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians that eye hath not seen, ear hath not heard, neither had it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him, but God has revealed them unto us by his Spirit. So it is through the Spirit of God that God reveals to us knowledge that we have need of, that you just don't get any other way. Now, some people call it intuition. Some people say, something said to me. Well, that something is the Spirit of God trying to get over to your spirit sometimes, problems and situations that you need to avoid, but sometimes we don't listen. And then Paul in 1 Corinthians 12, he says, The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Now here in 1 Corinthians, he says, What man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. The human spirit knows all about you. God's Spirit knows all about God. And you get those two spirits together and communicating together, you've tapped the source of all knowledge. And this series will help you understand how to be led by the Spirit of God, how to pay attention to your spirit, and not just pass things off. I remember a time or two that I have overrode those things that was revealed in my spirit, and I wished I hadn't down the road somewhere, because there were problems that I could have avoided if I would just listened to what the Holy Spirit was revealing to my spirit. That CD offer number 7235, it's called Manifestations of the Spirit. Two CDs for $15 plus $4 postage and handling, a total of $19. We have a toll-free order line, 1-877-396-9400, 1-877-396-9400. Until Monday, this is Charles Capps reminding you the enemy is defeated, God is exalted, and Jesus is coming soon. To order the product offered today, call 1-877-396-9400 or write Charles Capps, P.O. Box 69, England, Arkansas, 72046. A complete list of CDs, books, and DVDs are available online at charlescapps.com. Through the website, you can listen to this radio program again and subscribe to our podcast. This broadcast is sponsored by Charles Capps Ministries and our listeners in this area.